Your business is about widgets. He can help you. Good, good to see you, Jim. Thanks, Dave. All right. Well, summer's upon us, and perhaps you need a great place for your kids to go and play and learn and have an awesome time. Fortunately, the Boys and Girls Club of Miami-Dade is such a place. Here's the president of that club, Alex rodriguez Roig. Alex, it's been a while, my friend. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. How's your summer going so far? So far, it's great. Yeah? It's yes. going to be busy, apparently. A lot going on for the Boys and Girls Clubs of Miami-Dade this summer, right? We have a lot going on. We do. We have about 1,500 kids that will be coming through the clubs every single day between 8 in the morning and 6 in the afternoon, so it's going to be a lot of kids everywhere. Wow. What are they going to be doing all summer? Oh, they do so many things. You know, summer's about experiences. Summer's about taking kids to the Everglades, taking them to on airboat rides, taking them to the beach, taking them to pools, uh, to bowling, all these sorts of different activities that throughout the year a lot of these kids don't get to do that. Unfortunately some of their kids, even the kids that live on the beach, believe it or not, they live four blocks away from the beach and they don't get to go to the beach because of their family, their parents or whoever where they live with is so busy working and doing stuff they don't get to go. So summer's about experiences, taking them to different places, having a great time in the club experience as well too. Yeah, it's wonderful. How, who can go to this? Which kids are eligible to go? How do parents find out about this? How do we get these kids sure. to have this experience? Well, it's open to every every child uh, that wants to go. Just as our, our mission says, for those who need us most, if you come to our door, then that's obviously because you need us. Uh, so it's open from ages five, kindergarten, all the way through high school. We have a great teen program that we've kicked off for about a year and a half now, and that's just doing amazingly well. Uh, you know, if, if parents have teens, they know they need a place to leave them, and they don't want to leave them home alone. Right. So we've got a great program going on for teens, and they, they have their own thing going on, and they do all sorts of, even from community service to, to educational field trips, to all sorts of great stuff. Because I was going to ask you that. It's, it, sure, you have fun, uh, but you also learn stuff, right? There's also an educational component involved in the summer as well. There is, there is. You know, there's always that the big summer learning loss. And one of the big things that we're that, that we always try to push is we have a literacy program. And part of that is every single day, they'll read uh, about 30 minutes a day, 30 to an hour, depending on, on what it is. So, and, but it's not just typical reading like you and I did when we were at school. We sit there and read silently for 20, 30 minutes. It's interactive. It's let's create a play and you, you're, you're, here's, your, here's your character, you read it, those type of things. So the idea is to keep it fun. You gave me way too much credit. I never uh, sat silently for 20 <laughs> minutes and did anything in my entire <laughs> life. Just, just ask my parents and all my teachers. Uh, okay, let's talk about the alumni base. The Boys and Girls Club has been around a long time, 70 years you guys have been around in Miami Dade, yes, right? Yes. Uh, so you have built up a, a ton of alumni, I'm sure, and now you have a big initiative to sort of find and reconnect a lot of these people. Sure, you're absolutely right. There's thousands of, of alumni that have come to the club at one point or another. The, the, the problem is we've never really had good record keeping of it. Um, so now we've got this initiative going on to bring them back home, bring them back to the club and so they can see what the club's all about and get them involved in the club. Uh, 70 years is a long time. Let's talk a bit about uh, the involvement that you have in the community. I mean, we've already sort of touched on that a little bit, but the, it's such a big part of the Miami-Dade community, really the South Florida community. What impact do the Boys and Girls Club have um, on South Floridians? Well, I mean, you know, the, the impact is great. I mean, there's, there's several ways to look at the impact. One is obviously the emotional impact and the, the growth impact in terms of, of us as human beings. When you get a kid that comes to the club and basically their, their options is they go home, do nothing at best. At worst, you know, they're, they're on the news at 6 o'clock doing something bad, breaking into cars or whatnot. But when you put them in an environment where they can not only learn, get homework assistance, computer arts, social skills, literacy, music, dance, there's so many things going on, sports, of course, it's a whole different, it's a game changer for, for anybody. Uh, and not only for the kids, but for the families as a whole. So when we're talking about impact, that's an, an incredible impact. About three years ago, we, um, we conducted a study, an economic impact study, that said for every dollar that's spent in Boys and Girls of Miami-Dade, generates $18.76 of community impact. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, so it was, yeah. in our case, it was $78 million in the community, which wow. was a number way beyond me, but it was amazing how they, a 128-page study did. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're doing tons of great work. If uh, parents want to contact you, if kids want to come to the camp, alumni want to find you, how's the best way to do that? Well, they can go to our website, bgcmia.org. Or they can send an email, the alumni wants to get alumni at bgcmia.org or info at bgcmia.org. All right. Good to see you, Alex. Have a great summer, buddy. Thank you for having me. You got it. Thanks. Take care. Coming up on Inside South Florida, if you are owning or